Today I'm taking delivery of a $4.3 million Bugatti Chiron Super Sport. And listen, when it comes to reviewing cars, I'm not a car reviewer, but when Bugatti hits you up and asks if you want to drive their Chiron Super Sport, you don't say no. I just want to see where the car is. <laughs> it's in the parking lot the if you want side. to see it. Yeah. <laughs> this is Jamie, professional racing driver. Oh, Jamie, what key is this? It's a very beautiful valet key. This is the valet key? Yeah, we have to have it. You're giving me the valet key? What about the speed key? That's not even the regular key. We have key. that. We have that. We do have, we the, have speed the speed key. key yeah. Okay. Cool. But the valet key as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dude, this is insane. You guys, I would love to show you this beautiful piece of art that we're staring at. This fighter jet. It is the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport. Oh my god. Absolutely insane. And one of my favorite things is the vents, because this is off the, the EB110, right? Correct, yeah. Yeah, same kind of design carryover, but functional, of course, with everything on the Everything's car functional. It's functional, yeah. yeah. Eight piston caliper, carbon ceramic brakes, Michelin Cup 2 tires, but this is specific for Bugatti. How much Correct. are these tires? We don't really quote an exact price. Roughly, so a lot. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Roughly around the $12,000 mark. It varies a little Each bit. Each or for a set? For a set. It's okay. a lot better than on Bayron. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, I was about to twist the knife in my heart right now. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, tire technology has moved on a lot from Bayron days and we don't have to change the rim every three tire changes like we did with Bayron. I've always been a sucker for the 16 in the grill too. Just a friendly reminder that we are talking about an eight liter quad turbo W16 engine. That just sounds sexy when you say it. It's all dry train for the weight. Everything else in the car is for weight saving, effectively, and sure. done lightly, apart from the batch. It was the only thing that they were okay with being heavy. <laughs> That's it's actually so solid silver. Really? Yeah. Okay, but what's to stop someone from just ripping this off? <laughs> Don't park it in public, so you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, but the spec, you guys, the original silver, and look at this, there's carbon fiber on the, on the windshield wipers. This is insane. Carbon fiber, everything. Blue Royal carbon fiber going all the way around the back of this car where you can see, Jamie, yeah. I'm, I'm not seeing a way to pop the back of this. We can't do that. No, you drop the, uh, you have to jack it up and we work from underneath on the engine. There's no, no opening, track side repairs without no having No track side a... repairs. No, we have the exposed engine, of course. So you can see a bit of it, but you can't work on it. So although I can't get in depth and show you guys the engine, that 1600 right there is for horsepower. Technically it's for PS, but we're going to say horsepower right now. This is actually like 1576 brake horsepower. Yeah. Something so, like yeah, that. It's pretty equivalent. 8 liter quad turbo W16, 1600 horsepower, 7 speed DCT. This thing is monstrous. There's just dump tubes underneath the car right there too. That's so great. Beside from like here, there's really like no seams in the carbon fiber. It is laid so beautifully and yeah. perfectly. You have a little super sport emblem right here on the cap. There's another cap over here. I was wondering what it was for. This is for oil. Whoa! Look at that. So you ready for a drive? This is the speed key, you guys. This unlocks 276 miles per hour. Can I launch it? I would probably be fired within five minutes from the telemetry on the car, but we'll definitely have fun. Can I put higher octane fuel in it for sure. a peak performance? Yeah, why not? Good, because I always carry around with me a spare jug of 100 octane for moments like this. I would love to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, BetterHelp. As you all know, I am a huge advocate and spokesperson for mental health. If you're new to the channel, I lost my dad to suicide at a young age and openly I suffer mentally myself. This is a topic that is very near and dear to my heart and I hope to help ensure no one has to suffer. I find one of the most important things everyone should be doing for themselves is to get therapy and good therapy, which is hard to find. That is where BetterHelp comes in. Regardless if you have a clinical mental health issue like depression or anxiety, or if you're just a human who lives in a world who is going through a hard time, therapy Therapy can give you tools to approach your life in a very different way. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and more accessible. Their platform makes finding a therapist easier because it's online, it's remote, and you can match to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. To get started, click the link below or go to betterhelp.com forward slash Amelia to sign up. 
Then you answer just a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. From there, BetterHelp will match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video call. It is really nice to have the ability to see a therapist from the comfort of your own home. And because finding a therapist is a little like dating, if you don't really fit with that therapist, which is a common thing with therapy, you guys can easily switch to a therapist for free without stressing about insurance. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and quality you expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom-picked for you, more scheduling flexibility, and at a more affordable price. Clicking that link below helps support this channel, but it also gets you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp, so if you're struggling or just wanna stay proactive with your mental health, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com forward slash Amelia. Now, let's get back to the video. Funny story, the last time I did a press event, I ended up buying the car. Oh, you did? Yeah, my Cadillac. What do you this is the final <laughs> Chiron factory car. This is all yours. <laughs> We're happy to- uh, You have yourself a yeah. deal. <laughs> I see we get on the road. Before we do, I'd like to put my purse in the front if you can help show front. me how to I do that. You do that. And then we also get to see how much room there is in the front as well. The front's pretty good. Is it? Good. Can you fit a carry-on bag get, in here? Yeah, you can get a standard airline carry-on bag in there. Okay, my suitcase is all fitting in there. <laughs> my little purse backpack barely fits in here. So kids, if you're driving this car to school, you might need to have another car follow you with your textbooks. This is so insane. This doesn't even feel like a real car. I feel like I'm in like a toy right now. Let me show you guys this. There is actually an ignition here. This is where the speed key goes in. This is where you unlock the 276 mile per hour limit. Um, and this car can go over 300. The thing is it's detuned because not everyone should go over 300 because conditions aren't always perfect for it. But 276, perfectly fine. <laughs> so long as you have this key. That's it. Let's hear this cold start on the Bugatti Chiron Super Sport. more than the Veyron, so we have a lot more resource note than we had in Veyron. It's a cool sound now when you fire it up. This sounds so good! Sitting behind the wheel of this Bugatti right now, that speed goes up to 300 miles per hour. Mirror adjustments and this kind of fighter jet style entertainment system. The more interesting part on here is we can throw information from the trip computer over here. Uh -huh. At the moment it's set to max, so we can see what the car has done for us. Oh. This is the thousand seven horsepower and we can do either the maximums we can do current so you can pull up current boost pressure uh current speed etc there's various different things we can put onto it and control it that is so cool i like this view i feel like i always drive in track mode because i like seeing those things right. speaking of track mode we have the driving modes right here we have eb which is going to be kind of your everyday touring 1600 horsepower and then you have autobahn which is going to pitch the nose of the car down a little bit and then you also have your track mode. It's gonna focus more on handling. This is mainly suspension tuning. Your fourth one is going to be the speed key down here, which is kind of used for top speed runs, but like even a quarter of a turn too far on the steering wheel or like any brake input, it's gonna take you out of immediately because you know, when you're doing almost 300 miles per hour, the point is you're going straight. What's LC? Launch control. I would probably be fired within five minutes from the telemetry on the car. <laughs> <laughs> we'll ignore that one for now. I'm gonna drive in track mode. This button here is for front lift, so we'll probably put front lift on when we're getting out of the parking lot. I hope like... you guys have a good insurance policy because <laughs> this car breaks necks. I'm just smiling driving this right now. <laughs> we're not even going that fast. Never just sat there with my mouth 
not though, because we were just before. Sure. I want to take this to the drugstore. <laughs> it's on the way. I know a good one. Okay. You don't mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in this Bugatti for a long time now. I'm actually running out of gas and I had to pull off for a second to touch base with you guys and just tell you how much I've enjoyed this car. We put the camera down, just spent some time driving the canyons. It's a very soft feeling car. I feel like the per sport would be a lot better in these canyons because this is more built for top speed. It rides very smooth. I guess the best way to compare it would be luxury versus performance. This is definitely the luxury Bugatti and a huge step from the Veyron because that's the only thing I've driven that I can compare it to, but a beautiful piece of art. I cannot rev at the full RPM. I dislike the manufacturers are doing that. I want to hear it when I rev it but we can't hear it to 4k so let's hear this oh. that sounds good so there are a couple just outrageously costly options on the interior of the car like this for example having the glass roof is $62,000. If you guys want to have these little buttons black anodized, $56,000. That's a down payment on a house. I can buy three cars for that price. I can almost buy a Corvette for the cost of doing black anodized buttons on this million dollar Bugatti. But we gotta get out of the car. I gotta, I gotta just take a step back and admire this moment because this is a once in a lifetime type thing. And I'm just so glad I get to share this with you guys. Now, if you guys want a super sport logo under your wing, you're talking at twelve and a half thousand dollars. And if you want the rear taillights to be black instead of silver, that's fifteen thousand dollars. And say, listen, I want a full carbon fiber Bugatti. I don't want a half back. You're looking at two hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars total. So it's about fifty thousand dollars more to get full carbon fiber. Guys, you're spending four million dollars on a car. Just do it. I think the full carbon car is so sick. That's how I would spec my Bugatti. If you want this horseshoe to be black, you're looking at seventy-five hundred dollars. Cha-ching. And to paint the calipers, sixty-two hundred dollars. But I guess when you're spending $4 million on a car, chump change. Unfortunately, the car is due back. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> That's hot. One more tunnel blast with Bugatti. <laughs> my glasses flew off my head. <laughs> It's been such a long and incredible day and I am just gripping this key. I don't want to let it go. Final thoughts? Buy one. It just looks insane from the outside. Oh my God. I hate to say goodbye, but I love to watch her leave. If you like this video, please make sure you subscribe, comment below, give this video a like, do all the things. Eker, we out here with love. Bye.